In this video, we're gonna talk about how mutual funds work. Uh, and so our focus is really gonna be on the broader purpose of mutual funds uh, and some of the components involved. Uh, in a subsequent video, we'll kind of get into kind of some of the benefits as well as some of the more um, intricate details of them. Uh, but for the purpose of this lecture, we're gonna keep things fairly broad and talk about really how they function on a very general level. So first off, let's talk about what a mutual fund is. Uh, a mutual fund is simply an investment company that pools funds by selling shares to investors uh, and makes other diversified investments in order to achieve some kind of financial goal, uh, whether that be income, growth, or potentially both. So in order for this to function, we need a couple of parties involved uh, to understand how the concept of a basic mutual fund operates. So the first parties we need are we need investors. And so investors are the individuals that are looking to get a return on their money because I have awesome artistic abilities, our investors are denoted by these creepy looking stick figures over here. Uh, and so these are investors, which in the terms using the language for mutual funds, we commonly call these shareholders. So these individuals have an interest in investing their money and then of course growing that according to uh, whatever their objectives are. And so their objectives might be growth, which means they want share price appreciation, their goals might be income, uh, which means they're looking for uh, some kind of uh, dividend income or otherwise in order to support current living situations so they can have a variety of different investments. Uh, but remember, we're talking about mutual funds sort of in broad strokes, if you will. So these investors are then gonna acquire shares. So they're gonna make a purchase. And what they're purchasing is they are purchasing a mutual fund. Now this works very similarly to how we purchase stocks, although there are a couple of nuances. And if you're familiar with the process of buying stocks, you sign online, you find some stocks that you wanna purchase, you pay a transaction fee, you acquire the stocks, and now you own those. The problem with that though, is if you wanna build a well-diversified portfolio, you really need to buy a lot of different stocks across a lot of different classes uh, and it becomes quite cumbersome to manage. So a mutual fund is one way to get around this in that by acquiring this one mutual fund, this actually gets us exposure to a lot of different types of securities. So as an example, if this was a broad S&P 500 index or mutual fund, it might get us exposure to let's say Apple computer or just Apple now, it might get us exposure to Google, it might get us exposure to General Electric and potentially AT&T. Now this is a very simple example because many mutual funds hold hundreds of different shares across all different types of asset classes, uh, across all different types of uh, capitalizations or market caps, uh, which we can talk about in the future. And so by acquiring this one mutual fund here, these investors here are getting exposure to all of these different types of investments simply by making one purchase. So the process of doing this is much, much easier. Uh, and you can find mutual funds that focus on every different type of sector, industry, markets, um, commodities, whatever you're looking for. Um, but the basic concept is ultimately by acquiring the mutual fund, and you can acquire obviously more shares of mutual funds, uh, you're getting broad exposure to a basket of goods uh, is commonly the term that we refer to. And that basket of goods is determined by the mutual fund manager, often called the fund manager. And they're the ones that take into account market conditions and what would be good investments. And they're the ones that execute buy and sell orders. And so they're gonna determine ultimately what this mutual fund here is comprised of. Now, every mutual fund has a goal and objective, which means you can look at these, you can order what we call prospectuses, and that gives you more detailed information on mutual funds. Nowadays, with access to uh, the internet, you can go online and you can view a lot of the information on mutual funds, but it will tell you a lot about what the goals and objectives are so you can get a feel for if that mutual fund is in line with your personal investment goals and objectives, uh, and therefore make a decision on if it's something that you'd want to purchase. But again, just to review as we wrap up the video, 
The basic concept of a mutual fund is we're allowing one company to kind of pool resources together um, by acquiring investment from investors. They take those resources and they purchase a basket of goods, which is a variety of different stocks or bonds, whatever is the, under the goal and objective of the mutual fund. And then from an investment standpoint, we simply can purchase that mutual fund and get broad exposure to all of those different securities and have a relatively diversified portfolio.